In the last video, we looked at four different types of text style controls that you can add into a Scala GUI, and we created a GUI with those four different controls. Our GUI looked like this. So we have a label, a text field, a text area, and a password field. Should be noted that when you type into the text field, you get one line, the text area gets multiple lines, and the password field doesn't show you the text. Okay, so that's the, the basic functionality of these. What this application did not do was respond in any way to what was typed in. And I'd like to add that. I'd like to add some type of handling. So we previously saw that you can add this on action to buttons. Turns out that on action works on things like a text field and a password field as well. We need an action event, lambda expression here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to set the text on the label. Label.text equals field action and add on to there the text field dot text dot apply and I need to call the apply because this is actually a property once again we'll talk about properties more in depth later but the text itself isn't a string in order to get the string out of the property we have to call apply so let's see I believe I saved that we should be able to run that nope yep we are missing an import statement. We don't have an action event in here yet. So let's add that. Import Scala FX dot event dot action event. Once again, if we couldn't remember where that was, you can always go check the API. So here we go. Now I can type in stuff here. And I can even go to other areas, and you'll note that our label hasn't changed. It's when I hit enter on this that whatever is in there, it calls the on action. So hitting enter on a text field calls the on action. Maybe that's not quite what you wanted. Maybe you wanted to do the changes more often. Well, turns out that we can do that. So I mentioned that quite just a second ago, that the text fields text was a property and one of the things that that allows us to do is we can call or we can set up code that is supposed to happen when it changes so we can have use on change and then we pass it a by name value which will be invoked when the text changes now this is a little bit different whereas the on action was only going to happen kind of at the end this is going to happen every time that I make a change instead of putting this in the text field I'm going to put this on the text area and the reason I'm going to put this on the text area is because there is no on action oops so text area dot text dot on change there is no on action for a text area because hitting enter on a text area just takes you down to the next line. So what I want this to do, well, I'm going to have it do about the same thing. I'm going to set that to area changed and then add on text area dot text dot apply. Let's save. Let's run that. We can verify that our text field is still doing what we want testing okay that changed notice that now everything that I type it automatically goes up there if I come back up here and I hit enter we get back that but for every character that I type this is being called and it's changing the label what if you didn't want to have the change happen every time that you type something well, something that would work with either of these or with the password field is to make it so that the code happens whenever it gains or loses focus. So this concept of focus was mentioned before. You know, right now, when I type, 
the text is going to appear in the text field. Why? Well, that's where my cursor is. That is the thing that has focus. If I click here, now this has focus, and my keyboard typing goes there. So when I move between these, I'm changing what has focus. Turns out that you can, there is a property on these. And so this is code that I could have done on the text field, the text area, or the password field, just so that I have one for each, I'm putting on the password field. And I am going to use the focused property and call on changed on that. Okay, so anytime that the focus changes, now this will be called both when it gains focus as well as when it loses focus. You could put an if inside of here to make it so that stuff only happened when it lost focus. In this case, we don't really care too much. Text equals password focus changed. And I'm not actually going to put the pa password text in there because, well, yeah, we're not supposed to display password text, right? But I could. I could easily put password field dot text dot apply to get that information just like I did for the others. Okay, so let's test this again. Test, and I hit enter. That changes. Everything I type here goes there. Password. Okay, hitting enter doesn't do anything, but when I... But when I click off, actually maybe I do need to have it display the text, otherwise you can't tell when it gained focus, because here I'm gaining focus, and you really can't tell that it does it again when I lose focus. Uh, actually, how about we do this? Let's do plus password field dot focused dot apply. So we can append whether or not we are gaining focus or losing focus. That will allow, allow us to tell the change. So when I click here, it's going to say that, and it says focus is true because we gained focus. If I type in pass and tab off, now it switches to say false. So we've looked at three different ways that we can deal with text changing on our fields and two ways that work on the area. The focus changing and the text changing will both work on the area. The two fields can also put in an on action if you want it so that when the user hits enter that that action occurs. And of course while I only put single lines in here you can put as much code as you want. If it's very long, probably for stylistic reasons, you should have this call a function that you've written someplace else and that way you don't make these chunks of code right here very long you break your problem up and have meaningful functions with meaningful names.